Hello and a very warm welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a brilliant bank holiday weekend so far. It's always wonderful to have a little bit of extra time off work, but definitely let me know if you're going away or doing anything special because I'd be really interested to find out. But with that being the case, in usual fashion, we're going to start the video off with the new releases this week. And this week we have seen the new release of the brand new James Bond coin. So I'm going to pop that on screen for everyone to see. It's been released in Silverproof and Brilliant Uncirculated, but it hasn't yet been released in the bunk. In fact, I think we're still waiting for the pre previous coin to come out in bunk yet but I'll definitely keep an eye on that and let you know when the bunk comes out but for now as I say we do now have the latest bunk and silver proof I have picked up the bunk version so I will be showing that on the channel as soon as possible but I do have some of the new releases that I showed in last week's video here to show you all to start us off we have a couple of the first series of myths and legends coins now if you remember the first series which was the Robin Hood series actually only came out in Buntley and they didn't produce a bunk or a silver proof at that time Time. Uh, the Royal Mint have now produced them in both Bunk and Silverproof and I've got the Maid Marion and Robin Hood Brilliant Uncirculated coins to show you. So this is the first one right here. As you can see, it is the Robin Hood coin. Now these are very similar to the Bullion versions. These are just the Brilliant Uncirculated version that come in the pack. Now one thing I've noticed right now is I'm not sure if you can pick it up on camera. But this coin has been received in a scratched condition, which is a little bit uh, disappointing. I'm going to have to be calling the Royal Mint after the bank holiday to uh, to bring that up with them. Because, yeah, I'm not too happy about that. This has never been opened. I, I don't tend not to open my bunk packs. Uh, I've literally just taken it out of the envelope. And I can see, as I say, just there at, at Robin Hood's feet. There are a few scratches on the coin. So I will raise that with the Royal Mint and see what they have to say about that. Uh, as I say, very disappointing, but it is what it is. And for now, we're just going to pop him at the back there on display. And the next one, once again, very similar to the bullion version, is the Maid Marion coin. So that's the first two of the original Myths and Legends series in Brilliant Uncirculated. And as soon as I'm able to, I will be grabbing the Little John coin to share with you all. But moving on, we have some Star Wars coins. And not only that, we've got some Star Wars 50p. So I know that's going to make my good friend Stephen with the freeze for these very happy because that's two things that he absolutely loves being Star Wars and 50p's. But next up, we have the first release in the brand new Star Wars series, which is the iconic vehicles of Star Wars. And right here, we have the Millennium Falcon in both standard Brilliant Uncirculated and Coloured Brilliant Uncirculated. I think it's a great little coin. I'm a big fan of the Millennium Falcon. I think it's definitely a fan favourite when it comes to the Star Wars films so I'm really happy to receive those in bunks but that's not all because we do also have the silver proof versions to share with you all today so I'm going to pop those both right uh, right here where we can see them so that's one and the second one is right there just like that there we go okay so moving on as I say it's the same coin but we have it in two silver proofs one of which is the 50p and the other is the one ounce silver proof so we'll start off with the one ounce I'll just pop it out of the box and right here just to share with you all as I say this is the one ounce silver proof millennium falcon which is a very very nice coin indeed i've decided to get the silver proof of these this series because i did get all the original series in silver proof so it seemed it seemed like a little bit of a shame not to uh, not to get this one in silver proof but if you've been watching the channel you'll know that i have calmed down a little bit on silver proof so i'm not going to be picking up as many this year as i did last year um but as i say if if it's a series that i have already started to get the silver proofs so i'm going to try my very best to continue going forward and so on that basis i thought you know what just to uh, just to carry on the series i i have picked up that one and this one right here which is once again that is the 50p silver proof version of the Millennium Falcon. So we'll pop that right there. And next up, I'll be going through the things that I've received this week from the community. And I, before I do that, I just want to say a massively huge thank you to everybody who sent me something this week. I've been inundated with packages from members of the community and it's truly blown me away. It really has. I, I generally cannot thank you enough. I've turned the ripe old age of 40 this week, which has been a little bit depressing, but seeing all the generosity I've received from the community has definitely helped you me up so once again thank you so very much to everybody who has sent me something across but we're going to start off with an item that i've received from a good friend of the channel he doesn't have his own channel but he's a very prominent member of the community and he's always out there supporting other channels so i just want to say a massively huge thank you to lee parola who has sent me this beautiful royal mint box right here and if we open it up we can see he's put a little note in there that says tsc happy birthday from lee and if we remove the note 
if I can with my gloves on, there we go. We can see that he's sent me a beautiful, you know, Lee, this is absolutely beautiful because what we have right here is an 1836 silver groat, uh, aka the four pence. And right there we can see we have the seated Britannia with shield and trident in hand. Um, sorry, struggling to pick it up there a little bit because due to the glare but uh, once again on the back we have the William the fourth depiction and that is just an absolute thing of beauty it's in a brilliant condition mate I generally cannot tell you how grateful I am to receive that Lee it was a wonderful gift for you to have sent across for my birthday but we'll pop that right there and we'll we'll move on because I really do have loads to get through and I've just noticed that Lee in true TSC fashion has burnt the edges of the uh, of a little note he's put in there to make it look all old and rustic and uh, that's that's a fabulous little touch there Lee so thank you so much for that I generally can't tell you how great fine buddy that was re that's a really nice touch indeed that is but next up I'm going to open something that I've been waiting to open quite some time because 365 days of silver has sent me this across for my birthday with the strict instructions that is to be opened on my birthday so mate thank you so much this was very very generous of you as you can see right there it's still has never been opened so i'm really excited to get this open and see what you've sent across for birthday it's been it's been with me for a few weeks now and uh it's been it really has been burning a hole like with me wanting to find out what's inside but without any further delay we'll pop it open and oh wow he's even he's even put a little bit of a uh, blue wrapping paper on there and uh, and a little note that says to tsc happy birthday have a great day 365 and may that was that's extremely generous of you buddy thank you so much nobody had to send me anything across and i certainly wasn't expecting to receive all the items i have but without any further delay let me just get my knife on this bit of wrapping paper right here and we'll open it up and have a quick look at what's hiding away. And I feel like I'm, uh, I'm playing past the parcel a little bit here because it's been so well wrapped. It really has. So well done on that, buddy. I, it's great to see it being wrapped so well, mate. But uh, yeah, let's... Uh there we go, I've got it out of a bubble wrap. And this right here looks like a proof box from the Royal Mint. So without any further delay, let's pop it open. And it is, it's a silver proof one pound coin. And that, mate, is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so very much, 365. I remember these pounds very well from being a kid. That's what we used to use back when I was growing up for my pocket money. But taking it out of the capsule to have a better look, we can see that we have the Arnold Machen second depiction of Queen Elizabeth II. And I've just noticed the little touch right there that this is a 1984 silver proof one pound coin, which is a special day as uh, you probably worked out with me being 40 this week, that that was my year of birth 40 years ago. So buddy, thank you so very much. That is a really, really touching gift, mate. It, it truly is. And as I say, you really didn't have to send that across, but I'm so very, very grateful that you did because that is just a wonderful little touch right there. And next up, I have another item that I've been holding on to for a little while because this was sent to me by Stephen with the Freeze for the Ease some time ago when I purchased some Una bars off of him. And uh, once again, it's got Happy Birthday on it. So I have left it sealed and unopened until now. And without any further delay, let's pop this open and have a quick look at what's inside. And oh, mate, that is absolutely incredible because what that is, that is Stephen's channel round. We can see we have the Knight Templars cross right there. And at the top, it says Exodus Edens. And at the bottom, we've got God's Money. And we've, we can see right there that it's uh, one troy ounce of 999 fine silver. And this is port number four and i'm pretty sure that this has been produced by pit bullion who's a great pourer from over in the united states of america he's joined me on the stack chat before with steaming with freeze freeze and he's done some incredible work and as i say i'm pretty sure that is a pit bullion piece right there but may again once again this this is just incredibly generous of you all i i truly wasn't expecting this and i'm just absolutely blown away with the generosity that everyone's shown because i really do have a pile of stuff to go through today so the video is going to mostly be me opening things i've received from the community this week because we're not going to have a lot of time for anything else but next up we have one right here which has been sent to me by the cranky stacker from over in america and uh, yeah i'm looking forward to seeing the card that's inside and if we get it open and we can see oh one second there we go oh brilliant that's fantastic right it's cranky it's a star wars card and over top we've got it's your birthday mm, most amazing it must be 
use the force and beep 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 and i'm sorry about the star wars impersonation there i do apologize but uh yeah i just thought uh, i might as well give it a try why not but uh let me see if i can get this pl plastic open and here we go oh wow oh wow cranky that is super generous of you right there it is one of the silver town poker chips and this is a piece i've been wanting to get hold of for quite some time i think they're really nice looking pieces and uh, yeah i'm a huge fan of that cranky so that's incredibly generous of you mate thank you so very much but we'll pop that on a stand just there and we'll have a look at the card that he sent across and inside we can see that he's put my dear friend stack hope this birthday is earth shattering hope your birthday is the best in the galaxy all the best always the cranky one and cranky mate thank you so much that is so very generous of you it really is i'm uh, i'm running out of space already but we'll pop that up there with the silver bars and uh and mate, honestly I, I i really can't thank everybody enough this is so touching i'm probably gonna end up crying by the end of this video but next up i have another international item because this one right here i can tell from the uh, from the packaging of the stamps has come all the way from japan and has been sent by my friend Jamie Frost actually who's a uh, subscriber to the channel and has been following the channel from the very beginning he's a great guy and right here we can see we've got birthday wishes for a super stylish girl crossed out with boy and that's, a, that's just Jamie's sense of humor all over that is Jamie I, I absolutely love you mate thank you so much that's brilliant but uh, on the inside oh uh, wow thank you so much mate we'll uh, we'll cover that up because right here we've got two TSC wishing you a great birthday Hope you have a nice day, Jamie. P.S. Sorry for the recycled card. And that's fine, Jamie. That's uh, It's really tickled me, that is. I, I found it absolutely hilarious. And we have a little bit of a Jamie Frost coinvent calendar as i like to call them because we're pretty reminiscent of an advent calendar but instead of chocolates we have coins inside and there's no points for guessing what coin that is right there but he's put at the top happy birthday with a smiley face at the bottom and jay and uh, we'll have a quick look at this one because this is one for the chest right here and uh, if you have been following the channel you'll know that i've got a chest absolutely rampant full of japanese circulating coins which have all been sent across to me by jamie this right here is an aluminium coin which is a one year and they are super light i think they're one of the lightest coins in circulation actually oh i'm nearly dropping the card but that is absolutely fantastic and we'll pop that right there you may not see it because uh, as i say run out of room already but uh, we'll open it up and we'll have a quick look at the other piece that he sent across and this as i say no points for guessing because he sent me a 2021 Krugerrand and uh, on the back there this uh, this chap right here is an ex prime minister of South Africa who goes by the name of Paul Kruger and this coin is, has the denomination of one rand so if you're ever wondering why it's called a Krugerrand it's because it's for Kruger rand it's a one rand with paul kruger on it so just a, a fun fact for people there if you weren't aware but that's where the kruger rand gets its name from but we'll pop that right there next to the silvertown poker chip and jamie mate thank you so very much that, that is a wonderful gift it's incredibly generous of you and we'll pop your card along with cranky's at, at the back there sorry cranky we're kind of uh, covering your card up a little bit and we'll keep it with the international pieces for now because right here I have another item which has come from, I believe, based on the name that's on the card, I'm going to cover it up because I don't want people to see his address, but I believe this has come from Steeler Stacker, who's a great guy. He very often joins us in the Saturday Night Stack Chats for the live chat. And uh, I'm going to get it, I'm just going to pop the envelope open very, very carefully because I don't want to damage anything that's inside. Here we go, and we'll have a quick look at what's been sent across. But we'll read the note first, which says, Hey, hey, I really love what you and the rest of the UK family are doing. Keep up the great work. Thank you for all you do. Stay blessed and safe. Steeler Stacker. And I'm just going to cover up his name there because he's put his real name on. I'm not sure if he wants that sharing with people. But one thing he has sent across, and I've just got to pull the tab very, very slowly as it says, because I don't want to damage these. In fact, I may do that. Here we go. Sorry, I had to do that off camera because I, I wanted to take my time not to damage them. But he sent me a load of his super cool stickers right here. We can see it says Steeler Stacker. And we have some 
<laughs> looks a bit like Negan right there, but instead of barbed wire, he's got uh, spikes on his baseball bat, and we've got a golden skull in the foreground there. And that's that is a super cool sticker. He sent me quite a few of these, so I'll try and get some of these out to fellow UK stacking channels, and uh, I'll maybe uh, maybe reserve one or two for the Saturday night stack chats to throw in with a giveaway bundle, as they are really really cool stickers they are, mate. But uh, yeah, no, thank you so much for that. That's absolutely amazing. And I've just noticed there's a there's another pool tab actually right here and we'll give that a little pull and we'll have a quick look at what's inside but uh, oh wow oh wow these are absolutely super cool i know exactly what these are because i saw them very recently on the 365 days of silver channel and i thought they were super cool when i saw them on on his channel but right here we have a one dollar silver certificate which as you can see right here is legal tender for all debts, public and private. And that they are really cool. We've got a, a wonderful picture of George Washington right there on the front of the note. And yeah, I honestly, mate, I thought these were so cool when I sent, I saw them on 365's channel. So thank you so much for sending them ac across. That's a really cool piece of history right there. And I believe the way that they worked is you would be able to redeem $1 worth of silver per note. You could take them into a bank and uh, and get them get them produced in silver for you. But yeah, as I say, that's a, that's an incredibly cool piece of history right there. I'm not sure where we can put these. Let me move the camera a little bit and uh, we'll try and get a bit more room in the front there because we'll pop them right there. And they're going to go away with my gold backs and silver backs because, as I say, what a super cool piece of history. But we'll pop the note have a back with the cards there and I know you may not be able to see everything which I apologize for but uh, as I say there's just so much there I don't think I could possibly keep everything on showing the background but uh, moving on we have a letter right here and I'm not sure where this one has come from so the only way to find out I suppose is to get it open and have a quick look at what's inside oh and this is fantastic this is I've been I've been looking forward to getting one of these because what we have right here is a couple of poker chips that have been sent from my good friend gold silver hunter and yes i uh, i helped him design the logo for his channel so it really is incredible to to receive these and on the back there we can see we've got the silver kratos paw that he picked up from silver punk and at the top it says gold gold silver and at the bottom we have hunter and that's a fantastic design it's always amazing to get a couple more extra poker chips for the collection so thank you so much for sending them across buddy i really do appreciate that but we'll pop them right there for now i've just seen i've just seen i didn't notice this before he's wrote on this and i want to show everybody because it came it came like that and i've just seen on the other side it says the worst wrapped chips in the world and uh, the reason for that is in the uk this is this is how we used to get our fish and chips you'd go to the chip shop and they would wrap it up in newspaper in a cone a little bit like that so that's that's a blast from the past right there gsh mate that's fantastic so thank you so very much that has put a little smile on my face i'm going to keep i'll definitely keep the uh the cone there in my little uh, momentum box as I like to call it where I, I keep all the letters that I receive from everybody in the community and I even keep some of the stamps just like the ones that are on Jamie and Steeler Stackers because I think they're a little bit different, they're quite funky and I'm actually amounting quite a stamp collection now which is something I never intended to do, I, it's only because I've been sent some cool stamps in the mail calls that I've been receiving from everybody but they will definitely be kept in my momentum box with my other stamps but uh, next up we have have another item right here which has been sent across for me I once again I've got no idea where this has come from but the only way to find out is just to pop it open and have a quick look at what's inside oh okay so right here we have an we have a few bits that have been very very generally sent across from McDonald Bullion and he's put a note with it that reads hi there TSC I remember you mentioning it was your birthday coming up Find inside a small gift and some stickers. I think you'll like it. Thank you for all you do. All the best, Josh, a.k.a. McDonald Bullion. And uh, I know Josh has mentioned his name on his channel before, so I don't think he's going to have any problem with me saying that on the video. But, mate, this is incredibly generous of you. It really is. I, I said it before in the video, but I'm truly, truly blown away by everything that's been sent across this week it really is touching that people have come together and sent me some 
absolutely fantastic items it really is and as i say it was completely unexpected so it really has been a wonderful surprise but right here we have a couple of his stickers and these are just absolutely fantastic i love the design of his stickers we've got a, a uk and us version because on this one right here we've got lady britannia with a shield and trident right next to the english lion and on the right hand side we've got lady liberty flying the us flag with the american eagle at her feet and that really it really they are fantastic stickers mate they really are i can't wait to get those added to the sticker board at the back there but for now we'll pop them down there with the uh, steelers stacker stickers he's also sent one of his business cards right there which is fantastic you've got a little qr code to scan which i assume would take you straight over to his channel it's not something i've done i've seen a few other channels with their business card so it's something that i may look into at a later date but for now that may is absolutely fantastic and thank you so much for sending that across i really do appreciate it but there's another item right here which is just in a little bit of bubble wrap so i'm just going to very quickly peel it out and this is oh my word mate this is absolutely fantastic. Oh, wow. This is absolutely incredible. But I'm going to share it with you all right now. Because right here, look at the toning on that bar. That is just absolutely beautiful. And it says, one, uh, sorry, it says seven-sided mint, titanium, one troy ounce. So that's a one troy ounce bar of titanium, which is absolutely beautiful, mate. And if you look at the front of the bar we can see that we've got a grey alien on the left hand side with some alien style writing in the background and at the top there it says area 51 and uh, i think he sent this across because he knows i'm a big fan of conspiracies etc and things like like that it's something that i love to chat about at the end of every stack chat and uh, that's a really really touching piece mate and not only that it's absolutely gorgeous I, I i'm blown away by the rainbow effect on it it's super cool it really is and i'm very surprised with how light it feels now it's it's a troy ounce so it should it should weigh the same as a silver bar but i don't know maybe because it's a little bit thicker it just it just feels quite light in the hand but uh you know as i say it's 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 fantastic mate it's got a brilliant design on it it's a beautiful thing and uh, something that i'm going to treasure for for a very long time my friend all of the items that i'm receiving today will be very much put in the deep stack and will stay with me forever because it generally does touch me every time that somebody sends something across i've seen so much generosity in this community since i've started my channel and it still to this day absolutely blows me away and as i say the you know the amount that i've received this week has just been it's been phenomenal I, i'm probably going to say it so many times in the video but it's because I, I i really am just completely blown away you know we can we can barely see my backdrop already and uh, we, we're still only about halfway through so without any further delay i'm going to get the next item open which uh, once again i'm not sure where this one has come from but we'll definitely find out in a moment's time and Oh, it looks like they've been stuck to the inside of the envelope, which is great for packaging. It really is. Uh, but we'll get it. Uh, we'll get it open, and I know exactly where this has come from. This is very kind of you, because right here we have a few pieces from the incredible new channel, which is one of the young kids on the block, and that is Small Stack Bullying. And right here we have a couple of his incredible logos which is based on the Benedetto Pastrucci depiction of George Slain the Dragon it's not exactly the same one uh, it looks like flames at the bottom but it definitely is reminiscent of the Benedetto Pastrucci depiction that you would find on the old silver crowns and still on the gold sovereign to this day so that's fantastic mate I'm really glad to have got one of your stickers because I definitely want to get one on the backdrop as soon as possible but uh, we'll pop them with the other stickers for now and that's not all because what we have right here is he sent me a couple of his fantastic brand new poker chips which he's literally only just had these done i've seen he's got a video on his channel where he's going to be giving away a few goodies which is to celebrate him hitting 100 subscribers which is an amazing achievement mate i'm really proud of you and you're doing a fantastic job with your channel so please keep it up but as i say right here we have a couple of the small stack bullion poker chips to add to the collection and i'm really really grateful for that mate i really am because he's not only just he's not only sent me one he's sent me a couple as well so that that's incredibly generous of you so thank you so very much mate i i really do appreciate it and we've got a, a we've got a wonderful old coin here 
these were when it was still the five shilling coins so yes right there as i said we've got the queen elizabeth the queen mother august 4th 1980 but if we have a look at the other side of the coin once again we have the second depiction of queen elizabeth the arnold mansion depiction which is absolutely wonderful and uh, the legend on the coin reads dg reg fd elizabeth ii which would translate to by grace of god queen defender of the faith and that is a wonderful coin mate thank you so much that was very generous of you to send that across mate i do i really do appreciate that so we're going to pop that right there with the other items and we'll have a quick look at the note he sent across which i normally like to, to do the notes first but the uh, the items kind of fell out first but nonetheless we will certainly have a look at the note that he's been kind enough to send across and we can see that it reads hi tsc here's the stuff for you and the giveaway on your stack chat for the 6th of april i have included two poker chips one for you one to give away two channel badges one for you one to give away and a queen mother 80th commemorative crown to give away thanks for having me on the stack chat and for being a great guy your pal small stack bullion and that's very very generous of you mate i will certainly be putting those bits together for a giveaway when when we have you on and uh, yeah i'm really looking forward to that it's actually going to be the week after this uh, tomorrow night we have cpm joining me on for a chat but the week after that is going to be small stack bullion and i'm really looking forward to it so as i say he's uh, he's donated a poker chip and a sticker and because i already have it if he's okay with me doing so we'll pop this in for the giveaway bundle that he sent across which i think is a wonderful little little set that he's give, given across i may add a few other crowns to it myself but speaking of which you've just reminded me because as well as the birthday gift that Lee Prola has sent across, he's also sent me some crowns as well. So right there we've got the July the 29th, 1981. That's for Lady Diana Spencer and King Charles wedding memorial crown, which is a wonderful little piece. We also have the Silver Jubilee 1977 of Queen Elizabeth right there, which once again is a wonderful little coin. We have a, another one of the Charles and Diana wedding crowns right there. And right here, I'm, if I'm not mistaken i can't see very well but i do believe that's the yet same as the other one which is the queen mother birthday celebrative crown so what a wonderful little pile of old crowns and they'll be given away to members of the community joining my live stack chat in a couple of weeks time which i'm really excited for i can't wait to get small stack on the uh, on the channel and have a good old chat with him and see how he's finding his youtube journey so far as well as his collecting journey because very much like myself it's not just the silver for small stack bullying he's a lover of old coins in general it's been an absolute pleasure watching him pick up some wonderful old numismatic pieces and if that's your cup of tea definitely check out his channel and give him some love because it, as i say it's absolutely amazing to see the new generation getting into collecting and stacking i will of course be putting a link to the channel of everybody who sent me something across today once again it's incredibly generous of you all and if you haven't checked any of these channels out that i mentioned today please go across and check them out because they've all got wonderful channels in their own way one thing i do love it is the diversity in the channels you get some people are more stacking orientated some people are more collecting orientated some people stack for weight some people like the more collectible series coins and uh, yeah i have a lot of fun looking at all the different channels and seeing everybody's different approach to collecting and stacking it really is wonderful so as i say i will be putting links in the description to every single channel and i highly recommend going across and checking all of them out because they're all wonderful in their own way well, next up right here we have a letter that's been sent from a wonderfully generous guy now this guy is really generous because if you weren't aware i'm running a 1000 subscriber giveaway on my channel where you can win a couple of grams of pure gold and silver sins has actually donated one of those grams one of the grams was from myself the tavex one gram gold bar but the one gram horaeus gold bar was donated by silver sins which was a wonderfully fabulously generous thing for you to do silver sins so thank you so much for that but if we look at the letter he sent across today it reads hey tse thanks for everything you do bud please find and close my poker chip keep up the good work mate thanks again silver sins and uh, once again we have another poker chip for the collection it's absolutely fantastic to be getting all these poker chips today i really do love collecting the different channel chips and, and i've received some fantastic chips from some fantastic channels today so once again guys thank you so much he's also sent across a few stickers as well which i'm going to put in the little pile of stickers i'll definitely put one of those in the giveaway bundle for 1000 subscriber giveaway uh, because i think 
it, it would be a nice touch. Certainly seeing that he was kind enough to donate one of the pieces. So uh, definitely want people to know where that's come from and make sure that the credit is given where it's deserved because I, I just generally think it was an insanely generous thing for you to have done Silverstein's mate. So thank you so very, very much. But we'll pop, we'll try and get that one in right there next to the salt lamp. Uh, let me see if I can get it so it's not going to fold itself down and we'll pop him there just like that so that's absolutely fantastic and once again thank you to everybody who sent something across I, you know I said it at the beginning of the video I'm blown away by the sheer volume of items that have come through my letterbox this week I really had no idea that so many people were going to go out their way and send something across and it, it, it's generally touched me it, it truly has thank you for making this birthday so very wonderful it really you know you really have so thank you so very very much but next up we've got another item which I'm I've got a feeling I know where this has come from just based on the weight of the item because I know Gold Silver Hunter let me know that he was going to send a few poured pieces across that he'd like me to add to giveaways which uh, it absolutely is because right here we can see his bookmark which reads read save stack save watch stack videos FOMO poor and I absolutely I really do love his bookmark I think it's absolutely fantastic but we'll pop that right there and once again, we have another copy of his sticker right there, which is absolutely fantastic of you. I've already got one of those on my uh, on my backdrop, but it's wonderful for you to have sent another copy across for the Memento box. But we'll have a quick look at the note he sent before we look into the other items he sent across. And we can see that that reads, Mr. Stack, as promised, here are a few bits you can use for your 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Also, a Spider-Man and a dog for you to keep young Grogu company. Thank you for all the help in putting together my channel round, even though my videos will be few and far between, at least I have one of the coolest, <laughs> at least I have one of the coolest. Keep up all the fantastic work you do, and thanks again for all you do for the wider community. All the best, GSH. And what he's alluding to right there is uh, G GSH let me help him and designing his logo for him and because I did that he asked me to put a little tiny TSC somewhere on the logo which I did on the uh, on the H right there so if you look really closely it says TSC um, but uh, yeah no it was it was an absolute pleasure to help you out mate it's always a pleasure to help the community any way I can I may not be able to get things done immediately but I'm always happy to help if I'm ever able to do so so please feel free to contact me if there's anything I can ever do to help any member of the community because it is, it is generally always a pleasure but as he said right here to go with the Grogu that he's already poured for me I have a Spider-Man and a dog as well which are absolutely fantastic I love GSH's aluminium paws I think they're absolutely fantastic so thank you so much for sending those across for me but that's not all he's sent across because as he said in his letter he sent another copy of each for Grogu, the Spider-Man and the dog and these are going to be added to the prizes of my 1000 subscriber giveaway so guys thank you so much gsh that's that's super kind of you it really is it's going to be such a wonderful bundle for someone to win when i get to a thousand subscribers and i'm so looking forward to picking that winner when we get there i i generally cannot wait but we're still going as i say i've been inundated with kindness this week i really have we've got uh, one two three four five. we've got five items left to open so without any further delay because i know i know the video is going on a little bit now so i'm going to uh, get this open as quickly as i possibly can do and right here inside i've got an idea where this has come from because i saw something very similar on the 365 days of silver channel but we've got a box that reads much love from new mexico and love to send these tokens to you and on the back it says it is my sincere privilege to cross the pond for you all once again and right here it says made in usa not uh, not china but i'm just going to uh here we go i'll just pop the sellotape open and oh, i sent a lovely little package right there but we'll, we'll get it open and have a look what's inside and right here he sent me a little glass veil which that looks to me like it contains tritium which is an item i'm familiar with because i you may know i don't talk about it too much on the channel but i'm a bit of an avid fisherman and there's something that we use for glow sticks in the night time uh, that's actually the perfect size to put on one of my bite alarms and uh, I don't think I'll be using this one because it was a gift and uh, I'll be keeping it in the vial but these things um, these things can glow in the dark for literally forever you can buy glow sticks and they last for like 40 years and you don't need to charge them up with light to get them to work I'll see if we can uh... no no that didn't work unfortunately but yeah you'll have to uh, I'll just 
you'll have to take my word on that i have just checked it and it does have an orange glow to it so yeah that's a that's a wonderful item right there mate it really is so thank you so very very much but that's not all because he's also sent me uh, it looks like he sent me some us circulating coins which is something that i've really gotten into recently i've got a nice little collection of us coins coming together now right here we have a few coins that i've never seen before because we've got a 1979 one dollar right there and i've never seen dollar looking like that before i'm i'm used to the larger peace dollars and the morgan dollars so that's uh, that is super cool right there that is so we'll pop that one right there but we also have a 1958 wheat scent right there which is in absolutely phenomenal condition that is it's still got a lot of shine to it so that's that is really cool but we also have a 1964 one dime right there which once again is is super cool thank you so much for sending that across and right here we have a one connecker which is a coin i'm not overly familiar with myself so that's that's really cool that is thank you so much I, i'm going to do a little bit of research in that as soon as i've finished filming but uh, yes mate that is super super cool so once again thank you very much but i'm going to be honest with you the piece de la resistance and this little package is an item that i've been after for quite some time i think it's one of the best channel rounds going and that is the space miner channel round and right there we can see we've got an astronaut and on the side it says space miner and on the other side this is something very interesting it's something that we talk about in literally every single one of my stack chats people love to bring it up but that is the flat earth model right there so that's uh, that's a map based based on the flat earth model and below that it says one try ounce of 999 fine silver and as i say this thing is just absolutely phenomenal i've been wanting one of these for, for ages mate ever since i first saw it i thought it's a, it's a super cool piece and thank you so much for sending this across i knew something was coming because i saw 365 days of silver unbox something on his channel and there was something in there for both myself and cobra saka so i knew something was coming across but i had no idea what he was sending and that has really cheered me up mate it, it truly has so thank you so very very much space miner we'll pop that one right there we'll have to move things out around a little bit we'll pop that uh that crown there with the other ones and then we'll move that back a little bit and we've got the gsh aluminium pores right there okay so next one is an item that i i know where this is from now uh, you may already be aware if you're a follower of cobra stacker's channel if not why not he's an amazing guy with an amazing channel he does incredible weekly auctions where he sells some in absolutely phenomenal pieces he really does i don't i don't know how he's able to get all the stunning bits that he does but uh, he's definitely got a few very good contacts all over the world because he gets some amazing pieces in there but i have recently been working with cobra to give his auction a little bit of a facelift where i've designed a little bit of a template for him as well as a couple of other bits which i was more than happy to have done for him but being the guy that he is and cobra is an incredibly generous guy which i'm sure you will know if you follow his channel he sent me a package right here to say thank you for the help that i've given him in putting his new auction template together now i've got an idea on one or two of these items but i've really got no idea on the, the others of them I, I i didn't even know he was sending me this many pieces and cobra you've you've gone above and beyond here mate you truly have i i honestly cannot thank you enough mate i really really can't uh, the item that i knew i was going to get is the uh, marilyn monroe icon coin which is a stunning coin i picked one of these up in the past for my friend jamie frost over in japan and i fell in love with it when i saw it and it was so difficult to send it on to him but uh, i knew that i wanted one for myself so when i saw it in his auction i had to bid for it when i won it cobra let me know that he was going to give it me for free to say thank you for for the help i gave him on the uh, on the auction as i said which uh, would be more than enough that that on its own would generally have been more than enough but what he's also sent me here is he sent me a sunshine mint one ounce silver bar right there which is absolutely fantastic and will definitely be added to the other silver bars on the uh, on the back there i'm really getting into my silver bars recently so that is is fantastic mate thank you very very much 
Um, <laughs> we're not going to stop there because he's also sent me a modern restrike of a Morgan dollar, which is absolutely fantastic. I do love the old silver dollars. I, I'm a big fan of both the Morgan and the Peace dollar. Uh, the Peace dollar I showed on my uh, channel quite recently, and uh, yeah, that is that is wonderful, mate. So thank you so very very much for that. We also have a beautiful one ounce silver Mustang coin right there, and that uh, that has just got an amazing shine to it. It really has. We've got a mirrored background with a frosted foreground to it, and that Mustang just looks amazing mate it really does that is a super cool piece these are all wonderful items you've sent across cobra which you you generally didn't have to do do this but uh, i can't tell you how how appreciated it is i really can't next up we have a white tiger of the west autumn and that is that is amazingly cool that really is a super cool piece that looks like the ian rank broadly depiction of queen elizabeth ii right there uh, it's not a coin that i'm overly aware of but that certainly does look like the Ian Rank broadly depiction of Queen Elizabeth to me. This is the 2023 Samoa. And uh, that tiger, look at the detail on that. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. It really is. Um, but we're still, we're still going. I mean, this is just insanely, insanely generous, Cobra. It really is because we have a 2024 Year of a Dragon coin right here, which is produced by the asahi mint as you can see right there and this once again it's a it's a wonderful coin we've got uh, a mirrored background on this side and a frosted background on the reverse there and it says one try ounce fine silver 999 at the bottom lunar calendar series and that is so cool i'm a big fan of dragons i'm not really into the lunar series um uh, but dragons i i love so uh as a as a standalone dragon coin that is super cool i'm i'm sure that you'll all be aware of my love love of dragons from following the channel but uh yeah that's that's absolutely incredible and finally we have a wonderful coin right here which is the samoa superman coin and this one is coming in the assay card right there and that really is wonderfully generous of you cobra that's one two three four five six that's seven ounces you've sent me that's that is beyond generous buddy that really truly is i i it was my pleasure to help you with the auction i did that just because i wanted to help you because i think it's a brilliant thing you're doing for the community if you haven't uh, joined one of cobra's auctions in the past you don't have to worry about bidding if you do want to bid on any of the items you do have to become a member of his members club and that will enable you to to bid but not only that you'll be able to enter what's known as the cobra's vault which is a telegram group where he's constantly giving away free pieces of silver he has a business card that he'll randomly put a message on saying the per first person to uh, show their card next to a, a bottle of milk or or anything it could be any I random item we've had bottles of coke bottles of milk cucumbers chicken mercedes benz all kinds of things he'll just come up with something very random and the first person to show their members card which looks just like that alongside that item will win a piece of silver and there's been so many winners it really is a fantastic place to be and as i say definitely worth the uh, members price but if you don't want to bid on the auction that's no problem at all it's still a wonderful place to get together with the rest of the community we have a good old laugh every single week from friday he does a uh, a small auction every single Friday and then does a bigger auctions which I think he does on the first Friday of the month and then around mid month as well and sometimes he does smaller pop up auctions with uh, with you know which are more based around good deals and, and good value stuff and uh, as I say you know even if you're not buying things it's a brilliant place to be I highly recommend it because I for one will definitely be there and I really look forward to seeing you all there too so next up we have I can only imagine it is a birthday card because it's come from Moonpig and uh, I'm sure you're aware of who they are they you can have custom made cards made for birthdays anniversaries that kind of thing and this one is it's quite a large card actually but uh, we're going to get it open and have a quick look at who's uh, been kind enough to send this across and that's a wonderful design which is based on in the front of the card right there we can see it's based on the martin jennings depiction of king charles iii which is the latest effigy of king charles to be used on british coinage and below that it says hope you have a royally good birthday and that's a wonderful touch but we'll get it open and we'll have a look at who sent this oh that's that's incredibly kind of you because this has come from scott silver who's a wonderful guy he's got a great channel he's not been putting out too many videos recently he's had a little bit of a hiatus but still a wonderful guy really involved in the community and uh, if we look at the other side we can see that he's put happy birthday it's an absolute pleasure knowing you 
all the very best young man, Scott Silver. And Scott, so that's that's wonderful, mate. That's a really genuinely kind touch, mate, that is. I think the only place I can fit that is at the back there, which uh, puts it a little bit out of view. But I will definitely be popping that on my mantelpiece for the next few days while I'm still in birthday mode. Yeah, and yes, mate, as I say, what a wonderfully touching thing for you to have sent across to have had that made up for me it's uh, it's very much got my name all over it with the coin design etc on there so Scott's mate thank you so very very much and uh, we're, we're getting down to the last couple of items right here so without any further delay let me get my knife in and see if I can get it open for you all and it looks like this item's come from eBay now I didn't know I, eBay actually did their own uh, branded packaging like this but we've got eBay tape and eBay box so yeah that's uh, that's something I've definitely learned it's very reminiscent from Amazon but without any further delay let's let's pop this open and have a quick look at what's inside I've got uh, it's wrapped up in bubble wrap and I've, I've got no idea what that is I couldn't I couldn't even guess so without any further delay we're going to pop this open and uh, I've just okay I've just seen a little a little sticker that is let me know where this has come from because right there we have the super cool silver punk sticker i love his logo it really is cool just look at that uh, that punk right there but uh, we'll have a quick read of the note that he sent across and i'll just hold it there for you can see it but uh, right there it reads dear stat collector as you've now reached the grand milestone of 40 years in our fascinating game of life it's time we let you in on a little secret one that has been closely guarded by those of us who's already reached this illust illustrious level welcome to the exclusive club where the truth is finally unveiled the simulation files oh this sounds very interesting i love the, i love the note already buddy enclosed with this letter you will find a small old battered floppy disk the base simulation files <laughs> before you ask no it doesn't contain any cheat codes to skip work days or instantly remove calories from chinese food instead it symbolizes the unlocking of the next phase of your adventure where the humor is richer the memories are sweeter and the joys of life are enjoyed with a wink and a nod towards a grand mystery of existence as a proud member of the 40 plus guild you are now privy to the cosmic game that is simulation theory perhaps you've noticed the glitches deja vu moments jaws's girlfriend braces disappearing or why everyone suddenly loves avocado on toast yes these are all subtle hints from the developers reminding us not to take the game too seriously so as you dive into another decade Remember, life is a beautiful simulation, full of unexpected quests and delightful Easter eggs. May your frame rates be high and your loading time short. Celebrate every moment, laugh often, and keep searching for those hidden levels where the best memories are made. Happy birthday, welcome to the truth, with joy and simulated confetti, Silverpunk. P.S. Remember... If life ever throws you a loading screen, it's just another opportunity to refill your chamomile latte mug. Mate, that is incredible. That's fantastic. I haven't got words for that, Silverpunk, but yeah, you, you know me and you know that I, I loved every single little detail on that note. And uh, yeah, it's the, the simulation theory and the Mandela effect, so a couple of which he's alluded to in the note, is something that I love to talk about on the, uh, on the stack charts. It's something that I'm definitely, I've definitely fallen victim to in the past. Now, I vividly remember Jaws' girlfriend having a mouthful of braces at the end of Moonraker. Jaws has turned good. He smiles at her. I'm sure they're on a boat dock. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're on some sort of marina. And he smiles at her and she smiles back. And it's this wonderful moment because although he's disfigured and he's got a mouthful of metal teeth, she's got a mouthful of braces as well. And it kind of suggests it's okay. You know, it's okay. I'm kind of similar. And it's a really touching moment. But if you go back and watch that film now, her braces have disappeared. <laughs> nobody knows why it's also like everybody thinks the monopoly man wears a monocle but he doesn't he doesn't but he, he definitely used to a hundred percent used to i don't know what's happened but uh yeah that's uh that's the simulation theory that he's alluded to in his uh in his wonderful wonderfully hilarious letter there which has really tickled me that as punk say it really has but i'm going to get this package open if i can there we go right i think i've just about done it very well sealed that was mate and uh we'll have a quick look oh wow 
Oh wow, buddy, this is absolutely fantastic. It really is. He sent me a little, a little package right here. First of all, we have a, a silver punk poker chip and a silver punk letter so i've i've really done amazingly on uh, on the poker chips today i really have so thank you so much guys that is absolutely incredible and right here we have one of the hand poured floppy disks and on there it says the base simulation files and that's incredible we've got a certificate of authenticity at the back that says base simulation disk weight one 0.91 troy ounce purity 999 serial number non-applicable year 2024 mintage one of one and that's absolutely fantastic mate it really is i assume i assume that's silver because silver punk normally does pause in silver um but yeah i love these i love it i fell in love with these from the first moment i saw them because being 40 years old i'm of an age where when i i went to college when i was younger and i studied uh, software practicing uh, computer science basically i uh, coding computer programs building websites that kind of thing it's not something i stuck to I, I find it quite tedious unfortunately i've got a lot of respect for people who can sit there and look at l millions of lines of codes every day and 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 be able to do that kind of work but it, it just wasn't for me but when i joined college it was still floppy disks that we were using to save our work and what would happen every now and again you'd go you'd spend weeks and months on a, on a piece of coursework for college and then you go to college one day you put your floppy disk in and a little message box would come up and say corrupted file we are on <laughs> and all of your work would have been disappeared it was actually it was the worst it was literally the worst thing so that once that happened a time or two you learned to uh, to make sure you had plenty of backups of your documents but whilst i was at college towards the last year or two this incredible new invention came out which was known as a flash drive i'm sure you'll all be familiar with them these days they're probably getting less and less common because uh, cloud storage is, is the thing nowadays but when i was at college you had flash drives which had 32 megabytes of memory and that was incredible because these things would hold about 4.6 megabytes so 32 megabytes you could you could save so much it was amazing now if you look at it 32 megabytes is probably the, the absolute small you know it's it's ridiculously small we're talking about terabytes these days and uh, yeah but that it brings back so many wonderfully fond memories and that is a wonderful piece mate it really is i love the way it looks i can't wait to dig out my old pc bang the floppy disk in there and start playing around with the base simulation to cause a few mandela effects of my own <laughs> but no seriously mate that's that is fantastic it really is we've got we're gonna have to find somewhere to put that uh, we'll move try and move that forward a little bit and we'll pop that right there so silver pong mate thank you so very very much i i, I you know the, the note especially really has really made me smile that really has and uh, it's a wonderful piece and i'm just so insanely grateful to everybody who sends something across just i mean just just look at the the absolute huge pile right there this this is a pile of generosity right here which i has I, is, is completely blown me away i don't i don't know what to say i uh, I, I i i don't know how to thank all of you enough every single person who sent me something across it doesn't matter what it was you know you, you've touched me today you've you've made this day extremely special and i i just honestly i just do not know how to thank you enough but we have one more package left which is going to take me a little bit of getting into because it's uh, it's been very securely wrapped with a lot of gaffer tape which is something that i absolutely love to use gaffer tape will do it you know you can you can fix any repair job with a with a roll of gaffer tape and a knife i say you know it's the only thing it's the only thing you'll ever need to survive just a roll of gaffer tape and a good knife but without any further delay i'm going to get this open and we'll have a good look at what's inside because this now is the last package i have i do believe it's the last package anyway but uh, we'll find out on that one but we've got two pieces here one says open first and one says open second so i'll definitely do it in the order that they've they've requested and i'm covered in covered in bits of packaging tape now so i'll just get that off my glove very quickly and we'll we'll see yeah okay so this is going to be the uh, the last package now and you'll understand why in a second but first off right here we have a card which has got TSC and a wonderful hand-drawn rose on it. That's that's fantastic, mate. Thank you so very much. And uh, oh, CPM. Look, it's actually it's actually wrapped on in little bits of wrapping paper. So uh, we'll open the card first. 
and we'll find out what's inside. In fact, before I do that, before I do that, I'm going to open something else first. Uh, no, I'll do the card first. You're going to understand in a moment what, what, what I'm getting at. Because Cobra, I know if you're watching this, you've probably been screaming at your screen, where was the other item? And uh, all will be revealed in a minute because we have a wonderful card here from CPM that says happy 40th birthday. And if we open it up, we've got a handwritten note that says dear TSC, 2024 wishing you a very happy birthday hoping you have many many more to come in the future your youtube channel is and has grown into a must watch for me and many out there in the cyber universe and is a real pleasure to observe and be part of i thank you very much for the time and effort you put into it and the many others you are helping on your journey very best wishes cpm and that's a wonderful wonderful note mate very very kind of you to say it's been incredible to watch your your whiskey wednesdays are something that i really really do enjoy watching i don't always get to watch them as soon as they're released but i definitely do enjoy sitting there on a saturday morning with a cup of coffee aka caramel latte and enjoying them but we're going to pop that at the back right there and as well and uh, before we get these to open i've actually got another thing from cpm which is kind of wrapped and as you can see right there it says gift from cpm so i've kept this uh, i kept this because cpm didn't let me know he sent me something as well so i thought you know rather than open it with the other bits from cobra i thought it would be better to, to hold it to one side and open it with the other pieces from cpm because right here we have the absolutely stunning newy phoenix coin now i bought this item in Cobra's auction recently. He did it as a buy it now. I'd, uh, I'd, I had to nip out very quickly because my uh, my nieces were in town. So I nipped across to see them very quickly. And when I came back, I saw a wonderful looking coin on, on screen and I could see he was doing it and buy it now. So I, I asked him how much he was, he was selling them for in the chat. Uh, it was a wonderfully great price. So I said, yes, please, can I get one of those? And then as soon as I said that, CPM came up in the chat and said that he was going to pay for it himself as a birthday gift. So that was incredibly generous of you, CPM. You, you honestly didn't have to do that, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate you doing so. I love this coin. I think it's got a beautiful design to it. I'm a bit of a fan of phoenixes. They kind of fall into the, the dragon kind of category for me, you know, being a, a fantasy nerd, which I'm self-proclaimed. I, I love Lord of Rings, Dungeon Dragons, all that kind of thing. I'm a huge, huge fantasy nerd, and uh, I'm a big fan of uh, the Phoenix. And we, we'll probably call this one Forks. And uh, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you'll know what I mean there. But uh, yeah, we have Forks the Phoenix coin right there, and it's it's a stunning piece. We've got King Charles III on the back there with a legend that reads Charles III, Nui, $2, 2023. And it looks like that's a Jodie Clark depiction of King Charles III right there, which is absolutely wonderful. I love the diversity we're seeing in the effigies of King Charles III. We've had some wonderfully different depictions from across the globe, but uh, that one is one that I, I really do like, and I absolutely love of the reverse of this coin with the phoenix on there so we're going to pop that with the other ones and next up we'll open up these couple of wonderfully wrapped gifts that he sent across so uh, we'll have a quick look at the first one which is oh okay it's a uh, it's a it's a silver phoenix once again uh so thank you so much cpm that's uh, that's absolutely incredibly kind of you thank you so very much um i'm going to pop that with the uh, with the other ones here because we've, we've gone through the details of that so I, i'm not sure if uh, if i've received one too many there i'll contact cpm outside of youtube and find out if i need to send one back to him but uh, mate thank you so much that was wonderfully generous of you it really really was so thank you so very much for that and next up i've got an inkling of what this is and it is and i absolutely love this cpm mate thank you so very much because right here we have the bull mint phoenix bar and i first saw this on cpm's channel when he came back from the world coin fair in germany and i i kind of fell in love with it straight away then as well and right there we can see it says bull mint on the back with some some flames which i'm sure are the flames that the phoenix is rising from and on the front we say we can see it says phoenix silver phoenix at the top one ounce fine silver 999.9 .9 at the bottom and i i love this bar cpm i i truly do love this bar it's it's absolutely beautiful for uh, thank you so much for sending those wonderful pieces across to me mate i can't tell you how great i am for the generosity you've seen but we have a we have another item here because as we say this one says open second and inside we have another wrapped parcel so 
I'll just see if I can get this open and we'll have a quick look at what's inside, which I'm uh, super excited to find out what it is, mate. But you've already, you know, you've already been more than generous enough. And, uh, oh wow, this is incredible. Right here, we have a 2006 Silver Britannia. And that is just absolutely gorgeous, mate. I'm not sure if, is this bag open? No, but it's in a sealed bag, so I'm going to keep it inside the sealed bag. But that is a wonderful piece, mate. That is absolutely incredible. 2006 Silver Bullion Britannia, two pound coin, struck by the Royal Mint in Britannia Silver. And on the coin, we can see it says Britannia, 2006, one ounce fine silver. And we've got Lady Britannia stood amongst the waves. This is uh, as designed by Philip Nathan with trident in one hand and shield and br olive branch in the other to symbolize peace. Lady Britannia, of course, being stood amongst the waves to symbolize Britain ruling the waves. And uh, that is, mate, honestly, that's, that's incredible. I, I, really 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 wasn't expecting that we can see it's still in its original royal packaging and i'm definitely going to uh to keep it in that packaging because i think that's just fantastic mate you know the uh the couple of pieces you'd already sent was was already far more than enough mate you know it really was you know none of this has been expected so i i generally cannot thank every single person who has sent me something across enough i really i really can't we've got a little bit of uh, space right there so we'll pop that right there and uh, i'm just looking down in front of me and I'm, I'm 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 truly truly blown away there's so many pieces there you've given me the best birthday ever this this is just uh, just incredible just to see so many people have gone out of their way to send something across it, it's always the thought that matters but there's been a lot of thought put into the items i've got in front of me right here and i'm i am so touched guys i'm so touched you've you, you know i i i don't know what to say I, you've you, you've performed a miracle and you've made the stat collector lost for words and that doesn't happen a lot it doesn't and i'm welling up a little bit and i'm not ashamed to admit that because that's a wonderful thing for from everybody in the community and i i honestly can't i just cannot thank you all enough i'm i'm going to treasure every single one of these pieces we've had some wonderful items donated for the giveaway that's coming up on the channel if you haven't entered that as of yet i'm going to put a link in the description uh, on all my videos going forward to make it as easy as possible for people to enter and we're as soon as i hit 1000 subscribers we're going to have a few duck races to find some winners and uh, yeah that's going to be a lot of fun but I I don't know I don't know what to say I I truly don't. We're going to skip the uh, the ISA update this week, but just to let you know I'm 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 just above twenty three percent. It's very similar to what it was last week, but we don't have a lot of time this week because you know all the generosity that I've received of all the items that's been sent across. You know this video is is already I, I've no idea how long this video is going to turn out to be, but I can imagine it's going to probably be somewhere around an hour long. So I'm I'm going to get things wrapped up pretty soon and i just want to thank everybody who stuck with me to the end of the video i, I want to thank uh, i want to give special thanks to everybody who sent me something across and made this such a wonderful day and uh, you've really made my 40th birthday one that i'll never forget i i won't you know thank you so very much but that is all the pieces that i've so wonderfully received from this amazing community but next tuesday i'll be going through the items that i received from my friends and family for my 40th birthday and uh, and once again i'm going to end the video this time by just saying a massive and heartfelt thank you to every single person in this community you've made the last year a month and a half just fabulous I've met so many amazing people. I've made, made so many genuine friends and I do not know how to thank you all enough, which is why I am always happy to help with people designing logos, intros, or anything like that. If there's ever anything I can do to give back to this community that has been so wonderful to me, just let me know and I am more than happy to help. But with that being the case, I have definitely rambled on for long enough now so i'm gonna leave you all by saying until next time as always look after each other keep stacking take care and goodbye <laughs>